What's up, big dog? Yep, Terry Brands, who just said that. Tom Brands, we're at the Iowa Wrestling Room. God, 11,600 season tickets sold. What does that mean to you guys? That's the rumor. So good. They're, it, yeah, they're saying it could go to sell out. I talked to some guys walking up the stairs there, and they were pretty uh, fired up and confident that it was probably going to be called a sellout season ticket sale. So every duel would be a sellout, which would smash the existing per meet record as well, or total attendance. So good, and then we're gonna wrestle down in Texas. Got that, you know, that Oklahoma State duel that they set up down there, and there'll be a lot of fans watching Hawkeye wrestling live, seems like. Well, why Gotta this do our job. Yeah, why this year of all the, to get the potentially sell out for season tickets I think the potential of the team that we have and and um, up and down the lineup where our guys are uh, they're highly ranked and um, people are intrigued by this team and this program right now and we got and Tom said it we got to deliver and that's that's really where it's at all the fans in the world don't win wrestling matches if you don't wrestle hard and smart and we, we have to deliver, meaning whoever's at those individual, those 10 individual weight classes. They need to deliver for themselves and their future. Tom, starting with you, this is going to be a unique year in that it's going to be the most family you'll have coaching with or on the team. Talk about family dynamics and how you navigate that. Uh, I mean, it's good. It's not, we don't navigate it any different. I mean, there's differences. Um, with everybody and Nelson Brands is no different um, he is an individual just like any of our other guys are and I really treat him that way um, and I know he appreciates that um, we know that he marches to the beat of a different drummer also just like um, all of our other guys do too as well and there's quirky personalities in this sport as you know um, and his is certainly quirky as well and I have quirky personality too so we love our individuals. We love it that they're um, popular in the locker room. Uh, Nelson Brands is popular in the locker room. Um, just like everybody else is popular in the locker room, we have a really good team dynamic. So uh, I wouldn't make a lot of it. I wouldn't make a lot about how you navigate with family. You know, we got Mariah Marinelli just walked in here and her husband wrestles and she's our director of ops. So there's a lot of dynamics, but you know what? You, Operate as professionals. You do your job and you do it at a high level. Perform when it's time to perform. It's the bottom line. It just, there's no other way to say it or get around it. Terry, going some, back to something you said in our last interview, you said you and Tom are getting different, but then you kind of came back and said you're the same. Could you elaborate, elaborate on that? I think that we're, you know, after I thought about what I said and then I started to talk through it, it's more that we're maybe coming more together in the agreement side of it. And again, this may, may not make sense, but the way that I feel about it is, is that there's a lot of ways to get to a place. And I think that we both have different ideas about that, but we're always arriving at the place where we need to arrive. And it's always been healthy that way. And it's always been spirited that way. And when there's disagreements, they come and they go, and at the end of the day, we're, we know that we're moving this program, in our estimation, to the best spot that it can be moved to. Any thoughts on that, Tom? Ditto. I mean, that's what it's about. It's about getting to that place. You don't always know what your path is going to be. Um, the consistency is the standard of the program. The consistency is the communication of that standard. The consistency is the understanding that these guys have on that standard as well. And then the follow through. There's got to be follow through or all that consistency goes out the window. And we're pretty good at following through, I would say. And I think that that's the common ground and the sameness. And I don't know that we ever were, I don't think we ever differed in that way. But, you know, it just, uh, I think maybe tolerance of <laughs> if there is a disagreement, at least, you know, I think maybe with our, with our maturity, um, you know, there might be more tolerance of boom, maturity of the difference in um, in opinion, and that's healthy. That's a really, really healthy thing that you're able to get 
to that point that you're going to coming at it. Because, you know, just like you're talking about with, with these other guys and the difference in the personalities, it's different for the way that you're going to get your 125 pounder in the way that he's knit together to, to the top stand um, ingredient, to get him to have the top stand ingredients than it is going to be in our heavyweight. They're just different, and it's the same thing with coaching. You've got to find the proper solution for the individual. Tom, how do you determine who's going to run practice and then whoever runs it, how do you know what your role is within that practice? A couple years ago, all that went to this guy um, for good reason and it's been successful and I know that he has a plan. If I have something that I need to um, get across um, to the team, I talk to Terry. Um, I'm still talking to the team pre-practice if I need to. That's quite frequent, but he has the room. And we're at a high level. Love it. Terry, what goes into an effective practice then? Uh, smart, hard, intensity. Smart, harder, intensity, smarter, harder, more intensity. Okay. But smart intensity. So you gotta have fun for, too. For all for all you Terry, you gotta have fun. For all you haters that are calling us robots, we have fun here. Hey, we gotta have fun. We have fun. Hey, Wilson, do we have fun? Yeah. Look at that haircut. I mean, look at that. Sure. Come, Come on. in here. All right. All right. Look at that haircut. That's Beautiful. a fun haircut, right? Look at, look at Kirk smiling. Look at Ibarra. Look at Matthews is smiling. This is the best wrestling environment in the world. In the world. All right, so one with this, what do you guys like to do for fun? Cut wood and shoot. And I just spoke for him. Okay. So don't let him tell you any different. I'll switch it. I like to shoot and cut wood. That's the argument. Ready? Come on. Let's go. Mature. Hey, remember that picture where Gable had us in football helmets? You remember that picture? Yeah. That's what you should do is get a couple of football helmets from parents and we could Let's do that. Circa '90s, but I don't know what year exactly. We could we could relive that. How about could we relive the one where you're in a shirt and the Steiners are in a shirt and you guys look like mutants kind of thing? Would you do that? Um, it's a good picture too. Yeah. Yeah. Picture. Harry Palmer from the Des Moines Register. He come up with those. His name was Harry Palmer. He was a very creative guy. Very. He was a big Iowa Gable fan. All right. Hey, Spencer has fun. Spencer, you have fun? Look at Mariah smiling. She has fun. We have fun. Marinelli smiling. Look at Telford. <laughs> of course he is. He has a wife here. Telford. That's the Look best smile. Look at Telford. He's <laughs> <Dan Lapp. laughs> <laughs> He has fun. See? All right. Thanks, guys. You're the man. Thank you so much.